Hey, what's going on, man? I'm here to talk about this new Asus Rogue GU501 computer that I bought at Best Buy. I'll tell you what, man. I uh, have a Sony Veo that I've had for about eight years. It's starting to go down on me. Uh, it's not processing as fast as I'd like. I've only got eight gigabytes of memory in it. It is eight years old. It's never let me down, but it's starting to crap out a little bit. So I went out and I bought the new Asus Rogue. I'll tell you what, man, I did a lot of research on computers, um, you know, laptops, PC. I, I went everywhere, man. I was over at iBuyPower, at Best Buy. I just couldn't make up my mind because no matter what I wanted in the PC, in the PC by the time I got done configuring everything, I was at like 2,500 bucks, man. So I ended up going over to Best Buy. I bought this for 1,500 bucks. This is the Asus Rogue GU501. Um, it is a smoking hot, fast gaming computer, and uh, I didn't buy it because of game. I bought it because I like power and I do video editing, and I just like a fast computer. So uh, without further ado, Windows 10 Pro on this, um, and um, you've got the in-core, you got the Intel Core i7 8750H, which is the newest six-core processor from uh, Intel. It does, in fact, have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 card with the six gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, uh, smoking fast video card. Uh, as far as memory goes, this one comes preloaded with 16 gigabytes of uh, uh, memory. You can upgrade up to 32 gigabytes, and that is uh, the DDR4 2666 megahertz uh, SDRAM dual channel. Uh, the SSD, of course, we covered is the M2 NVMe PCIe. Uh, card uh, the x4 128 gigabyte ssd and um, the hdd is a two and a half inch 5400 rpm one terabyte sshd this has a 15.6 inch screen on it which is 1920 by 1080 uh, hd it is an ips panel at 128 hertz and here i just see that we do have 25 millisecond refresh rate on that uh, at 72 percent ntsc um, and once again it is vr ready Let's go over to some of the uh, uh, factors about the keyboard. This is the RGB keyboard, the colorful keyboard. Uh, it's got the bit, the backlit Chiclay keyboard, uh, RGB four zones. We're running uh, the marked uh, WASD keys, hotkeys, volume up, volume down, mute, Rogue Gaming Center uh, is also on the keyboard. And the keyboard travel distance is 1.7 uh, millimeters per key uh, with a 0.2 millimeter keycap curve. So. Um, that's something new to me on the curve. I've got to get used to that. So not a big deal. Audio is supposed to be really good on this system. It's got two 3.5 watt speakers in it with the smart amp with the smart amp technology, and it has the array microphone. So we'll see how that goes. Software that comes on this system is the uh, Rogue Gaming Center, of course. You've got Game First Five, Splendid, Sonic Studio, and Sonic Radar Three, Aurora Core 2.5 as well as XSplit Gamecaster, and that's free, the free version, I should say. Uh, and then it has the Android uh, iOS app on it as well. We have a one USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C, and uh, we have four USB 3.1 Gen 2s, uh, very important. And then it does have one HDMI 2.0, which can run 4K or 2K at 60 Hertz output. It has one uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone combo jack, as I mentioned before, and of course it has the one Kensington lock that none of us ever use. Uh, power supply is a 180 watt power supply, and it will give you approximately five and a half hours of battery life. All right, man, so anyways, as far as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, this is coming with the 802.11 uh, AC 2x2 two two Wave 2 uh, wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, as far as the size and whatnot of this, the width of this is 15.1 inches. The depth is 10.3 inches. Height is 0.7 inches. And the weight is about 5 pounds or 2.45 kilograms. So without any further ado, let's get this box open and uh, actually see this thing and, and see what we got, man. All right, so one thing I want to say, I just pulled this out of the box. And what we've got is we've got the PC here, the laptop, and then we've got an accessory box. Um... This was a little bit of a fight to get it out of the box. I mean, they, these guys packed this awesome. So I want to give props to Asus just for the packing. Uh, they really protected my uh, laptop on this deal. I'm impressed, man. I mean, 
it's hard to damage this computer. I mean, you could have taken this box and thrown it across the parking lot and it would have survived, in my opinion. So, great packing, uh, nice box. Um, they've got lots of Rogue markings all over it. A lot of the Asus trademark, uh, Republic of Gamers, I love that. It's, it's just embedded in the box. So, I mean, sexy box, man, sexy box. Got a nice accessory box here to go with it. And uh, nice, nice logo on there, laser etched in, man. I totally dig that. And uh, let's open this up and see what we got inside. Right, it looks like the old handy dandy power adapter, power cord. And that is it. So we'll keep that box. You lift up that lid and it just presents the package. That is just awesome. I love that. I love the way that pops up out of there like that. Nice. Like that sound effect. And if any of you guys got any tricks about this computer, you want to let me know. Uh, some trial and error that you have with yours or any of these uh, Rogue computers, by all means, please, man, go down to the comment sections. Let me know. Because um, you know, it's the first PC or first laptop that I bought for myself personally in eight years. Um, back then, my Veo was rocking in that day. And so now it's kind of, it's not obsolete. Hi it's there. still got a lot of power. And I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, you can just mute your PC. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, so for myself, uh, when I buy a computer, I, I get rid of a lot of the garbage that comes on the computer. And, you know, a lot of you know and some of you don't know. If you don't accept the agreement, you can't use the computer. So you have no choice but to accept their agreement. And if you want to use the computer, just accept it. Because it doesn't matter what it says at the end of the day. Because if you don't accept it, you're not using the computer. It's pretty much cut and dry. And so I'll have to get this all set up and then uh, we'll come back and... and uh, see what's going to happen uh, when it boots all the way up. So give me a minute here and I'll get everything set up and we'll kind of go from there. All right, guys, so there it is. It booted up really quick, uh, lightning fast, uh, as a matter of fact. And uh, I just want to give you an, uh, a look at this thing. It's pretty streamlined. Uh, it's, you know, it's got its five pounds, but it's very thin. That screen is insanely thin. Um, on that side over here, I think is where you've got the one USB. 3.0, 3.2, 3.1, and then there's that Thunderbolt connection I was talking about, the Kensington lock. No good. And this does not have a card reader, now that I uh, remember. Other side over here, we've got our power. We've got the HDMI, three more USB 3.1s or 3.2s. And there's our headphone and our audio jack. Anyways, guys, man, if you like my channel, if you like this video, as always, be sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. We've got some more videos coming up. We've got some giveaways coming out again. I know it's been a while since you've seen a full-on video from me. I do apologize, but I'm back. We'll get everything out here, uh, let you guys see some new stuff, and uh, enjoy yourself, man. Have a good time. I'm out.